Welcome to this video on how to perform arc flash calculations. The contents of this video are as follows. I will explain what is arc flash and the steps of an arc flash study. I will show you and explain how to use the arc flash calculator of Cable Pro web software. There will be three worked example calculations, two for AC and another for DC arc flash. An arc flash is an explosive event causing dangerous conditions resulting in serious injury or even death to workers or nearby persons, ignition of flammable materials and damage to equipment. The skin is prone to second degree burns for arc flash incident energies greater than 1.2 calories per square centimeter, which can occur at a typical low voltage switchboard with a bolted fault current of 13 kA and an arc duration of 0.1 seconds, which makes arc flash hazard analysis a crucial part of safety in workplaces. To read more about the arc flash phenomenon, follow the link in the description. There are eight main steps to performing an arc flash study, which I will quickly explain. Note that most of the steps are handled by software. Collect the electrical system data, protective device data, and switchboard equipment data. Determine all the modes of operation of the electrical network to find the worst case fault currents. Calculate the currents for three phase and single phase bolted faults. Usually, three-phase faults are the worst case. Calculate the arcing current which will be lower than the bolted fault current. A lower current means the fault takes longer to clear which is more dangerous. Calculate the arc duration which is defined as the time it takes to clear the arcing current. Calculate the incident energy which is the amount of energy received by a person at a certain working distance away from the arc source. Calculate the arc flash boundary, which is the distance from the arc source at which incident energy is calculated to be 1.2 calories per square centimeter, which is the energy level likely to cause second degree burns. Finally, select PPE based on the calculated incident energy at the working distance. There are several guides that specify PPE requirements based on the level of incident energy. Cable Pro Web can perform arc flash calculations using six different calculation methods three methods for AC and three methods for DC arc flash calculation. These include the IEEE 1584, ENANENS, DGUVAC, DGUVDC, Stokes, and maximum power methods. There is also an option to generate arc flash hazard labels and detailed arc flash reports. In this video, I'm going to perform example calculations using three different methods and show you how to generate the arc flash hazard label. But first, let's have a look at the main user interface of the calculator. The UI of the AC EDC Arc Flash Calculator has five main sections. The Arc Flash section. The Fault Current section. The PPE Category section. The Label section and finally. The Results section. We will go through each of these sections. In the arc flash section, firstly, you need to select the required calculation method from the drop down. Also, enter the working distance, which is the distance between the potential arc source and the face and chest of the worker performing the task. Other inputs, such as electrode configuration and enclosure spacings, need to be entered as applicable to each calculation method. The typical values pop up provides typical electrode and or enclosure data to help you complete the arc flash section. The fault current section requires you to enter system characteristics such as supply voltage, bolted fault current, and other parameters of the system. The bolted fault current should take into account the system data and modes of operation. The arc duration is based on the upstream protective device clearing time, or the maximum time taken for a person to move away from the arc source. The personal protective equipment or PPE category section allows you to select the applicable PPE standard, or guideline from the drop down. Different categories of PPE are required according to the calculated incident energy. The NFPA 70E 2024 provides three different categories table for incident energy analysis. The PPE categories, as per the selected source, are displayed in the table below. Users may also import a custom file for PPE categories by importing the PPE details in the template provided. The template can be downloaded by clicking the template download option. The label section is used to generate arc flash hazard labels. You can select the required template, either as per the Electric Arc Flash Management Guideline or the NFPA. Click on the Generate button to download the label. The label is editable in Microsoft Word. 
The results of the arc flash calculation are displayed in the results section. Arcing current, incident energy at a working distance and arc flash boundary are calculated. It is important to note that multiple arcing locations can be found within a single piece of equipment. Incident energy calculations should be performed at each of the arcing locations that are defined to determine the highest magnitude, incident energy or, worst case, condition. Additionally, the calculator automatically calculates the minimum PPE requirement and displays the minimum working distances for all categories. To view the details of the selected PPE category, click on the PPE Details tab under the Results section. Detailed reports for arc flash calculations can be generated by clicking the Report option. The reports show all of the inputs. Arc flash results. And PPE requirements. Let's look at an example from Annexure D of IEEE 1584-2018 to 2018 to understand how the AC arc flash calculator works. In this example, arc flash calculations are performed as per the IEEE 1584-2018 method for a medium voltage system of 4.16 kV and bolted fault current of 15 kA. The electrode gap, working distance between the arc source and personnel, and dimensions of the enclosure housing the electrodes are displayed on the screen. The example does not specify the depth of the enclosure. From the typical values, we will choose a depth of 762 mm. This will, however, not affect the calculations as the effective depth is only considered for system voltages less than 600 volts. Enter all the inputs provided in the corresponding fields. Next, enter the arc duration. It is the time taken for the protective device, in this case, the fuse, to trip at arcing current. This is equal to 197 milliseconds from the IEEE example. Similarly, arc duration reduced is the time taken for the fuse to trip at reduced arcing current. From the same example, arc duration reduced is found to be 223 milliseconds. The calculator will perform the calculations automatically and generate the results in the results section. Comparing the results with the standard, we can see that the calculator produces the exact same results. The PPE category can be changed under Category Source to select the relevant PPE category as per your system. For this example, let us choose Electric Arc NFPA 70E 2021 Table 130.5 G. The PPE requirements are automatically updated under the Results tab and PPE tab. To generate an Arc Flash Hazard Management label for this example, Select the label template to be compliant to NFPA 70E, same as the PPE category. Whether the contacts are movable or fixed must be specified. Click on Generate to download the Arc Flash Hazard label onto your local disk. The label is generated in a Word format and the desired name can be entered in the Equipment Name section. As explained previously in this video, a detailed report for the calculation can be generated by clicking on the Report button. Next, we will implement an example as per DGUV 203-077 standard. Let's consider an example from the standard for a 400 kVA transformer station. In this method, arc power and arc energy are calculated at the transformer secondary circuit breaker. Nominal system voltage is 400 volts. The conductor spacing, minimum and maximum fault current and RX ratio are displayed on the screen. A worst-case current limiting factor of 0.5 is considered. Enter all the inputs provided in the corresponding fields. The results are automatically updated in the Results tab. They match with the results obtained in the standard. Clicking on Reports to generate a detailed PDF report of the calculations. Arc flash label may be generated as per the desired template from the label section. Next let's investigate an example for DC arc flash calculation using Stokes method. We want to calculate the arc flash parameters in a panel supplied by a 256 volt battery. The internal resistance of the battery is 0.01150 ohms, and the resistance of the cable connecting the battery and circuit breaker is 0.00194 ohms as displayed on the screen.
Electrode gap is 25 mm as shown. In the arc flash section, select calculation method as Stokes method, DC. Enter the rest of the inputs. Select the enclosure type, panel board, and enter electrode gap of 25 mm. The typical values give a typical working distance of 455 mm for LVMCC and panels. Results tab displays the calculated arcing current, incident energy and arc flash boundary. Let's select PPE categories as per NFPA 70E, 2021 Table 130.7, C. This depends on your system requirement. NFPA PPE categories are displayed in the table below. PPE category and ARC rating are automatically updated in the Results tab. The detailed report and ARC flash label can be generated as explained before. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please check out our other tutorials for Cable Pro Web.